the slemming slurped the air in Audrey's face. Spindly fingers wrapped around her ankle and tightened. The long barbed tongue chanted its electric vocabulary, shooting pulses of language through Audrey's spine. A red-black eczema spread in fits like spilled ink crawling over and into the pores of his skin. Jack cried out, but the misty valley smothered his plea. Their first date was in a graveyard. He hoped they would be far enough away from the intrusion of the light posts. Those manufactured suns, numerous and sallow, that buzzed like perturbed hornets. Someone was laughing. Was it dinosaurs? Could dinosaurs laugh? There was something scathing, perhaps insidious, about those hardy har-hars. They were all around her now. She did not like it. The bottom of the throne rose above their heads. Its shape mimicked an angry basilisk, and the back of the stone reptile towered high up into the haze. One could believe that beastly throne simply perched in midair. Invisible fires, fugues, and fairy tales. Five short stories by William J. Meyer. A 220-page ebook available at gumroad.com/wjm.